Hello, my awesome Passport member friend. How are you? Um, welcome to my studio. Let's work on this uh, Yellowstone photo. Oh, Yosemite photo today. Um, is my shirt on inside out? No, is it? Every now, you know, when I work alone, I could just walk out to my studio from the main house. Sometimes I wear my shirt backwards and on accident. And then I go in, you know, 12, 1 o'clock to grab some food. And my wife says, you know, you idiot, your shirt's on backwards. I'm like, oh. Anyway, so this photo originally came out of a lot of different photos here, as you can see. Well, we're really dropping the beat back then in the background. Let me, let me turn that down a little bit more completely. Um, so this came out of seven photos. Took this a long time ago with my Nikon. And just working on it now. I've never worked on it before. And you can see like some are very dark. And these four images are the ones that I brought into Aurora. Okay, we just kind of look at the images here. Darker and gets brighter, 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 brighter. Now, there's something... I don't like how hazy like the bright one is. And really, you know, I didn't do this, but it would be an interesting experiment to first dehaze it in Lightroom before exporting it. That could be interesting. Okay. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over and show you the final result and then I will deconstruct it for you. Okay. So, he, well, it's the almost final result because I have it, I was going to take it into, um, into Photoshop and do some more work, clean up some of the water spots and a few other little things. Okay. So this is a final shot and I kind of like it. I think it's kind of pretty, kind of different. Um, you know, I don't think it's like the greatest photo <laughs> I've ever taken, but it's okay. It's kind of interesting, you know? Um, let me break it down for you and show you how I did it. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go all the way back down to layer one. You can see here, I have a lot of layers whole lot of layers, layers, six layers in fact. I'll try to name them this time for you. So back down here to the original image, but it's not really quite original because this is what came out after the um, HDR process, right? It's already quite a bit different than the original, right? But sometimes you'll notice what HDR does is if you have a blue sky, is it really blues up the background a lot. You can see how the mountains have turned blue, the trees have turned blue, everything just kind of turned blue. And that's uh, no bueno. So the, the biggest thing that annoyed me about the blue, not just the mountains, but even more so the trees, because you don't want to have blue trees. So step one, you can see here, I call it tree fix. So let's turn this one on, okay? And now you can see the trees get greener and less blue here, okay? You can kind of see my masking area there, or the trees, I kind of de-blued them. How did I de-blue them, pray tell? Well, I went down here, I increased the green curve a little bit here. And then um, in saturation, I went, I dropped down the cyan and the blue. See, if these are up, it makes the, uh, the ground more blue and it makes the trees more blue. See that, see the difference in the trees? These are like blue trees and these are more like green trees, right? Um, and I adjusted the hue a little bit, but then didn't do too much. Okay, so that's how I fixed the trees. Then I thought the sky was a little bright so what I did is I brought back in the original HDR frame zero, right? When you have a new layer, what you can do is you can change it. You can say its source image is one of the original ones, which is pretty cool. So I made it the original one and then I just painted that in on top, as you can see with the mask, okay? Less blue, I felt like, I was looking at this, I was like, Trey, still too blue. Now the mountains are too blue. So let's de-blue the mountains. So I did this and now you can see that the mountains will get less blue on off. There's less blue, it's okay. I don't mind, I left blue in the far distance because I think that's a good indicator of distance, right? Uh, blue is the reason the sky's blue, is because sunlight is hitting all of these nitrogen and oxygen molecules, and the way that it, it splits off of them is it leaves blue light behind. So there's basically just a lot of sky between me and the distant mountains, so that it gives an indication of distance. So I'm okay with that. And if you wanna see where I painted, basically everywhere it was too blue, I felt like. Uh, then I finally decided to HDR part of it, okay? So I hit HDR here, and you can see now that the mountains have a, you can't probably tell unless you look really close, but the, the mountains have a lot more pop now, okay? Um, last, I felt like it was a little dark over here, so I did a little bit of smart tone, just there to lighten that up a little bit, lighten up the half dome area. 
And then last, I did a final kind of glow pass, okay, which I felt was kind of nice. It, an image radiance pass, an image radiance is uh, right down here. You can see I amped it up quite a bit, did a lot of smart colorizer, really warmed it up, right? Because I feel like that made the trees, if you look at the trees down below, now they're much nicer. I've got a little bit of peach on the side of this. Just a better shot, a little bit better shot, slight improvement. Okay, uh, thank you Passport members. Hope you enjoyed seeing that. Um, if you like this stuff, I will do more of it um, in the future, okay? And depending on when you see this, Aurora HDR for Windows is either done or is not done. One of the two. You'll be the first to know, though, okay? All right, love you guys, and I'll see you next time.